E... It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Reels Puppet in the game. Today, I'm making a beat from scratch with only drums. The drums that I'm going to be using are from my free kit that you can download now at bandlab.com slash sounds called the Realist Puppet Drum Kit. I'm going to be using Ableton to produce this beat, but if you don't have any DAW at all, BandLab happens to be a free DAW that you could use on your phone, tablet, or in your web browser. Just signing up for a free account on BandLab gets you access to all of these free royalty-free loops, one-shots, and sample packs. When you download it, you could drag it straight into your DAW to have it appear in the sidebar, and this is a shortcut that I'm going to be using a lot here in Ableton. So let's get started diving through the Realist Puppet Pack from BandLab.com. Let's start with some 808s. One of these is cool. Let's just double click it and it becomes a MIDI instrument. Hey. Hey. So I'm just going to quantize that, turn it into a little loop. Now let's do another 808 and we'll have it switch between two different sounding 808s. I feel like this is a cool trick to use when the beats can be just drums. I like that note. One voice. And let's increase the release. And let's make a loop out of this and drag it out. Next, I want to use a snap. I think this is a great place to start because it leaves room to build it. Later, you could have a snare or a clap. We'll probably do both. But let's just copy this around. That's pretty cool. I think I want the snap to have a little bit of a switch up, so I'm gonna use a reverb, and I want every other snap to have a reverb. So I'm just gonna put this into a group using Command-G, create a chain below it for the dry signal, and I'm gonna drop a utility before the reverb. And we're gonna use this kind of as like a gate to choose when the reverb is and is not getting triggered. So we're gonna automate the gain on this utility, and this is a pre-reverb gain that we can copy around. So now we're adding extra reverb to every other snap. Boom. And I'll turn it up so you can hear it clearer. And then we'll add another utility after it, and this will be kind of like mute automation. I want it to cut off on beat just like it starts on beat. So let's have it cut off maybe like this, and then we'll copy this little automation around. And let's hear that. There we go. A little gated reverb effect. Let's just turn the decay down so it's not so extreme. Hey. Let's go in for a snare. We could even use the same MIDI that we have right here on the 808s as a starting point. And I also want them to pitch down as this phrase goes. Hey. I think I just want to stutter a couple of these so it's not just straight snares. Some of them are... Yep. That little stutter's a nice switch up. Let's add some percussion. Hey. Let's create a track and drop this on. Let's just make a straight copy of those snare hits. And let's find another percussion. Turn that volume down on that jingle. More percussion. Hey. I think maybe just a little EQ to make that sound more like just a shaker instead of a bongo and a shaker. Hey, that's more like it. Just to add a little bit more sauce on top of those snaps. Let's just get all that low end out of there, just the high end only. Let's 
Let's go throw some more percussion in here. You can never have too many percussions. Copy it over here. Let's go back in and find a new hi-hat. I think a hi-hat loop will give it that top end sizzle. Hey. Let's just cut a few beats out to really customize it to the groove we already have going. And now my favorite part, pitching it up and down with the warp on beats mode. Good right there. Sauce him with a clap. Give him that extra one in there at the end. Maybe one more clap. Maybe this clap sounds better. That's the vibe. Stretch this loop out. Oh, I like this perk. And this one too, I don't know. Maybe we'll use them both. We'll just slide this right over. This is gonna kinda accent the kicks. We're gonna have it real quiet in the background. Let's go back into the Realist Puppet Kit, and let's drop a kick in here. We'll just borrow the MIDI from our 808. Pitch it down. And have it start over here. Hey. Maybe a different kick will help sit better with this 808. There we go. Boom. Next, we're going to drop in a percussion loop from the Realist Puppet Pack. Same way we did the hi-hats, just find a key that really fits nice with the rest of the drums. And I think I'm going to side chain this to my 808. That way when that thing's hitting, the tom loop is getting ducked. They're both a little bit bassy. That'll just help them sit nicer together. And also I'm going to delete some of the bongo hits that don't need to be there. And that's feeling real groovy. Let's see what else we can add to this. Maybe some open hats. We haven't done that yet. Maybe slide one over here. Saucy. Let's try a nice snare, maybe like a rim or something to do some fast little hits in there. Let's try and beef this up with like a bigger snare. I'm gonna copy the MIDI from my clap. And we'll stretch it out. One trick that I love doing is duplicating the snare in octave down. really helps it beef it up and having that higher one makes it feel more tonal and in key with the rest of the instruments. So both at the same time is a really nice snare for me. Hey, these perk loops are all nice. Let's drop this in here, sync it up with our beat. And pitch it in with the rest of our drums. Maybe a little symbol to add some more impact on the downbeat. So it'll crash somewhere. And maybe a little ride somewhere as well. Hey, hey, hey. 
Hey. Next thing I want to add some closed hats to this last part. Reversed ones, just to have them extra saucy. Especially during that quiet part in the beginning. And we'll just turn those guys down. And maybe even sauce them up with a phaser and flanger. Ooh. And let's just pick where we have these kicks going, I think. This 808 and then into the next one when it switches up on measure 13. Perfect. And let's have this 808 switch up significantly. So let's get a whole new thing going. So I want this to pitch down slowly for the entire two bars. And maybe we'll just bend the automation line up a little bit. Perfect. That's a great switch up. I think we just maybe get a little bit more clap action going in here. Doing something fast like that. Hey. Some little snare fillers. Can never have too many percussions, like I said. Maybe one more percussion loop. Hey. We'll just shorten it with the beat slicer. And then maybe just enhance those snaps a little bit with the second one, just to layer them in. Just beef it up a little bit. thing I want to do is add like a little scratching turntable effect and I'm going to use that by sampling one of these kicks and during this drum fill I'm going to reverse one of the kicks using the letter R and let's just slide the reverse one right after the forwards one to create that like push and pull turntable effect. Boom. Very nice. And then we're just going to collect all and save all of our work and let's take a listen to our final beat made of 100% realist puppet drum kit drums. So there you have a complete demo of the Realist Puppet drum kit, a beat made entirely from drums. And if you want to download this entire pack, go to bandlab.com slash sounds, check out the Realist Puppet drum kit for yourself. It's completely free and I'll catch you guys next time in another video. Peace out.